I can't believe this is my 100th Red Dead Redemption 2 easter egg slash mystery slash whatever video, but it is, so that's my moment of awe at myself done. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at something that I probably should have taken a look at much, much sooner. And the reason why I haven't spoken about this one in the past is because I didn't know that it existed. My ignorance is spawned from the fact that I'm simply not a completionist and only completionists would ever find this, which is the taxidermist house. I mean, we can all find the taxidermist house which honestly I didn't know existed but it's right outside of Strawberry but the most important part here is the little story that goes with it for all you completionists to stumble across. Anyways the taxidermist house is located here just slightly northeast of Strawberry. It's so close in fact that it could even be considered part of the town itself. It isn't too hard to find so just go to Strawberry get on your horse and you'll be there inside of a minute and immediately you'll notice that this house has a bit of character not to mention the inanimate stuffed animals around the outside. At this point you probably cannot enter the house, as unless you've done something very specific, something that only completionists would have the patience for, the house will be completely locked and inaccessible to you. Now people suggested in my video about the taxidermy gorilla that you can discover in a damaged crate somewhere up the road not too far away, that it could be related to this place and I can definitely see that being a major possibility here, though why it's dumped out here I will never know. So anyways, what is this specific thing that you need to do in order to uncork this seemingly simple easter egg and turn it into something much bigger, or at least a little bit bigger? I'm trying to big it up here, I'm sorry. I mean, obviously you know it by now, I'm not exactly early to this video, am I? Well, you may have noticed these posters about saying Hunter's Sort, and they're essentially Hunter Challenges. There are five of them in total, and you can only accept one at once. Well, in order to uncork this Easter egg, as I'm going to put it, you need to do all five of these Hunter Challenges. Are they challenges, or are they just requests? I'm going to call them requests from here on out to avoid any confusion. So here are all five requests detailed with locations in which they are commonly, but not exclusively, found. You will need to get Get a carcass of each of these animals in perfect condition and then mail them back to whoever put up that notice. That person being Miss L Hobbs. Now in order to get perfect condition carcasses you're going to need to craft a load of small game arrows and if you haven't already purchase the varmint rifle which is a low caliber rifle that with a headshot to the smaller animals will give you a perfect carcass. We can't leave it looking like this though. So take your time, snazz it up a bit because the reality is you're going to be spending a lot of time doing this as is. So you might as well sit here tweaking this thing until it screams orgasmic bunny slaughter. So when you're ready, it's off to go terrorize mother nature. <laughs> In order to find all the animals required, I recommend looking at an animal location guide. Believe it or not, that's an actual thing that someone's whipped together. I'll leave a link to one down in the description. It just gives you a good Good idea of where to look to find certain animals and make sure that you're not running around like a headless chicken more than you already are. Because Sod's Law would decree that in video games, if you're looking for a specific thing that you can encounter in free roam that doesn't really spawn anywhere specific or at any specific time, you'll probably never find it. Anyways, once all five sets of requests are complete, you can head back up to the taxidermist house and encounter this. Hello, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello, dearie. Hello. Yeah, you said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. <sighs> come, come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come. It's downstairs. Come meet the world you help build. <laughs> this is. <clears throat> this is. This is quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. <laughs> oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. And look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know. 
Who wins? Because they're all dead. Only it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices. And I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Ah. And these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize, because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once, during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, no. Animals are better. Their fur is so nice, and... Oh. Um... Yeah. I think... Don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here. Please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. You and I are both like God now. In a way. Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you. And maybe... Heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No. I never did. <sighs> Be well. Hi. In this encounter, the taxidermist gives you this squirrel statue, which is dressed up in its own little version of John Marston's original outfit. Now, it is kind of disturbing, I know, but it's also disturbing and a bit funny for other reasons as well, which we will get onto in a moment. But in order to get onto those things, we need to place it on the mantelpiece in Beecher's Hope. What? What is that? It's art. Oh, that's what they call it. Hmm. Unfortunately for us, this is not the last shenanigans we get up to with this squirrel here, as our new furry friend seems to get to places. So if you leave this area, sleep 24 in-game hours and then return, this squirrel will be gone. And we all need to find it and then put it back on the mantelpiece. It does this a total of six times, which is six more times than I'm comfortable with. The first five locations in which you'll find the squirrel statue are around Beecher's Hope. First, it's the chest in John's bedroom. Then it's the fireplace in John's bedroom. Then it's the chest by Uncle's bed in his bedroom. Then it's out in a wheelbarrow that should appear in the sheep pen. And then finally in a chest up the ladder in the barn. Why the squirrel's moving about, nobody knows. It could just be Jack messing with us, Abigail messing with us, or even Uncle messing with us, if he can be bothered. So there's an explanation for it. People could just be physically moving it. However, the sixth and final location kind of blows that one out of the water and makes you think, could something else be moving this bloody squirrel? As this time, it will be located atop Mount Shan, which is tied up with a ton of already existing Red Dead Redemption 2 mysteries. Now, I doubt that Jack, Uncle, Abigail, or even even Rufus would take the squirrel all the way out here. So someone or something else is moving the squirrel, whether that be an individual who keeps stealing it and hiding it in places for no reason at all, or something that's trying to tell us something. Maybe this was all part of Miss Hobbs' plan. All I know is, upon finding the sixth location for the squirrel, which is Mount Shan, upon picking it up, you will receive the trophy, It's Art. And there you go, yet another obscure, unorthodox way that the game tries to draw attention to Mount Shan. Somewhere where, at the top, you can actually witness a UFO. Whether or not the squirrel is directly related to this, there's no doubt that Rockstar want you to see this for some reason. And the squirrel coming on up here is just another way in which it might happen. Maybe the aliens are actually squirrel people. I feel like this is just another easter egg in itself, or just another senseless part to the Mount Shan mystery in its own weird way. 
But to fathom what's going on with this squirrel and how it's getting about, I don't think we will ever know. And to think that this entire video spiralled from this innocent looking house. Okay, maybe not innocent, it does look like the owner eats children. Anyways, I think this video has gone on long enough, so please do let me know what you think down in the comments section. Sorry about the suspicious length of 10 minutes and something, that's really annoying to me as well. That being said, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. Maybe check out my other videos in this playlist. This is my hundredth one, wow. And I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.